so this is game two of the quarterfinal of the Wakefield Regional. So this match was on stream. There will be a link in the description to the streams match. You want to go and check that out first because it's always better watching it live and then watch the analysis. So here he's going to be switching up his leads. He's going to lead with Raichu and Kyoga, and I'm actually going to lead with my own Raichu and Gengar. So my Raichu does not have Lightning Rod, it has Static, which is quite funny because he is completely free to Volt Tackle me here if he wants to, but he doesn't know that. No one would ever Electric move a Raichu when they see one, so I did feel comfortable in this situation even though I knew I had Static. So it's mainly for the skill swaps and the dittos and the transforms from uh, uh, Smeagles as well, so it does make some sense. I'm going to fake out this Kyogre, risking the speed tie with fake outs, but he couldn't fake out my Gengar, so it, it felt alright going for that. And he isn't actually going to fake out himself. I'm going to win the speed tie and icy win both his Pokemon, so now I definitely outspeed with Gengar on the Raichu, which is really nice. And he's going to encore me into fake out, which is a really good play on his part. I didn't consider it, because I didn't have it on my own set, so didn't really cross my mind, and he's actually going to reveal Helping Hand on his Raichu as well, which is really cool. Nice interesting set on this Raichu. So I'm going to stay in and fake out because I wanted to just sack my Raichu. I didn't want anything in the back to take a Wolf Spout. And I'm going to skill swap with this Raichu. Now this could have given away that I was Static Raichu, but how I wanted to play it was that I knew my I knew my Raichu would go down. He probably knew the Raichu went down if he stayed if it stayed in. So I wanted to still prevent this Raichu from going in for any attack. So I thought it was quite cool. It probably wasn't the best play, but it was cool. And it would come in it would come into play later on in the match. So in comes the Rayquaza. And here I'm threatened with the double knockout onto his Kyogre with the Dragon Scent and Sludge Bomb onto his Raichu. So that's exactly what I'm going to go for. No reason to go for it otherwise. But he's actually going to switch out his Raichu into his Xerneas, which is a really nice switch for me because obviously I get a free Sludge Bomb onto it. So I'm going to Mega Evolve my Rayquaza because that's what Rayquazas do. You shouldn't really Mega Evolve your Rayquaza if you're against a Groudon, but if you're not, you can Mega Evolve it straight away and get the extra power. So Delta Stream is going to go up, which is completely useless because there's no... Electric or Ice move, well, Ice move from the Kyogre potentially, but it's going to be knocked out to the Dragon's Ascent. So, Sludge Bomb onto what was the Raichu, doing huge amounts to the Xerneas, no poison, but that doesn't really matter. It's in, like, extreme speed clear range now. And Dragon's Ascent onto this Kyogre is definitely going to knock it out, because it did most likely show that it was a timid one. So, no, not definitely not enough bulk with some chip to survive it. So, down goes the Kyogre, and that puts me in a really nice position. Because even if he brings in the Salamence, I do outspeed it for this turn, which is really good for me. Because I can just knock out the Xerneas, even if it, unless it protects. But then, he could, I guess he could have double protected to get the speed boost. And then he could have hyper voice. That would be quite a good play. But here, he's just going to intimidate my Rayquaza. He is going to Mega Evolve the Salamence to get the speed boost, obviously. He doesn't want to conserve the Intimidate. That's going to be useless. He needs the speed. But here, I make quite a stylish play, I think, in the end. It would have been very stylish if it worked out, if he didn't protect. But I'm going to extreme speed this Xerneas, which will be enough to KO it. I did outspeed, but Dragon's Ascent drops my defenses, so obviously I want to prevent that if I can. And the Xerneas does go down. Now here, I was going for the skill swap onto his Salamence. Now I had Lightning Rod, and if I manage to skill swap this Salamence, then all he has left is this Raichu and his Salamence. And because he's shown Tailwind on his Salamence, I do expect him to just have normal moves. So if I'd have been able to get that skill swap onto the Salamence, his Raichu wouldn't have been able to touch my Gengar because all of its electric moves would have gone into the Salamence and been useless. And the Salamence would only have normal type moves because its Aerial Aid would have gone and it wouldn't be able to touch my Gengar. So my Gengar would have been able to 1v2 both his Pokemon for the rest of the match if I managed to get that skill swap off. It's a real shame I didn't, but you know, that would have been so cool. Now here I'm going to go for extreme speed onto the Raichu because I am expecting him to double edge my Rayquaza and I actually get a critical hit, which did matter in the sense that I still had to win a speed tie. Because the extreme speed would have probably put him in icy wind KO range. He is going to double edge. He could have hyper voice. That's why I went for extreme speed instead. So here I was hoping that I would win the speed tie and get the icy wind off. Because then I could just spout for the win with my Kyogre in the back. But the crits means that there's no speed tie. But here I'm going to go for icy wind. And I miss. Which isn't that big a deal now that I've got my Kyogre at full health in the back. So that, that, that would have knocked him out. But I still have two potential chances. Knock him out one with Ice Beam, one with Icy Winds. Now here, I really should go for the Sludge Bomb. Because his only way out is to crit the Kyogre, and then I miss another Icy Wind. But I should, I do go for the Icy Wind in the end, even though I could miss. If he crit the Double Edge, that would have been terrible for me. doesn't crit the Double Edge, so it didn't really matter in the end, because I was going for Ice Beam. But safe, uh, the safer play would have definitely been going for Sludge Bomb, because the Double Edge Recoil would have definitely put him in Sludge Bomb care range. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. And I am able to KO the Salamence. So that's 
quarterfinals over 2-0 onto the semi-finals.